Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video or series of videos, we are going to learn about CO2 sequestration modeling. It's 3D simulation using CMG software. Okay, so I'm going to use a case from CMG itself. Hopefully we can learn many things from this exercise. Okay, so, our, so we are now inside the builder. By the way, we will run the simulation using gem so click on new simulator gem working unit for example international standard porosity single porosity and let's say we are going to start the simulation from the year 2000 first january 2000 click on ok so it's just to make sure that we already select the the, the setting that we wanted so click on ok and then we will import the geological model inside the CMG. And we are going to import the rescue file. The rescue file can be created from geological software like Petrel, all right? And then we just need to import it here. So click on file and import from another file and rescue or rescue ML model. Okay, click on this one. And this is the location of my rescue model, the geological model. Delivered or transferred via this file. The extension is .bin.bin. So just touch that one and then click on open. All right, let's wait for a while. Okay, so this is the some, like notification rescue file version 37 it's just to make sure the version which created the the, the 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 rescue it's not very important it's not very crucial for our simulation so let's just click on open and here import global grid yes select this one and here inactive cell options this is to you know some when we created the geological model some cells are actually inactive and those cells those inactive cells are not useful at all in the dynamic simulation so yeah in many cases we want to hide that cells okay but in this case the the, the rescue file that we 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 will use like this all of these options are already inactive so it helps us but in many cases, you need to select either no action. If you select no action, then all the cells will be transferred to this gem, I mean, to the CMG or to your simulation model. And sometimes it, it will disturb the, the modeling itself. Okay, so yep. Please make sure that either you hide all or hide if outside bounding box of active plus buffer zone, okay? These three, all right? The bottom three are the recommended one, all right? Not no action. But of course it's case by case, all right? So yeah, if the inactive cells are outside the active area, active zone of your model, then you can hide that inactive cells. Okay, but for the time being, we don't need to consider all of that. So let's just click on OK. All right, so here, this is the rescue property importer. We use the, the file from CMG that already been imported or already been set up. So it helps us a lot like this. So here, let's start here, rescue property and CMG property you need to match the properties in the rescue file to the CMG property. In this case, from my rescue file, I have four properties. The first one is null blocks, second one is pinch out array, and third one is permeability in I direction and porosity. So I only have four properties, All right? And in the CMG property, I I have many, many, you know, 
properties, but I need to match between the left one and the right one. But in the in the file that I open right now, we already have that we 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 have them already mapped out. Okay, so maybe we can just remove selected mapping. Okay, let's try it by yourself. Okay, so first I touch null blocks and let's find the same property in the CMG property. Null blocks here. Yeah. Okay, so null blocks in the rescue file and null blocks in CMG property and then click on add selected mapping. So we have that and then the same thing pinch out array here, pinch out array. Okay, pinch out array and pinch out array. So you can read null blocks imported to null blocks, pinch out array imported to pinch out array. Very easy, permeability I direction, permeability I direction, right? Map and porosity mapped or match with porosity. Okay, so if you have other properties as well, make sure you map or match them with the CMG property. Okay, so far so good, so click on okay. So this is what we have. 